All right, guys, from this particular session, we would be covering the complete marketing cloud journey. In this session, we would be covering or in this series, we would be covering the complete marketing cloud journey where we would start from the very basic that how you could integrate your marketing cloud with Salesforce, then where you'll be able to see the data, how you'll be able to map it, then uh, you can implement SAP. And once SAP is implemented, how you can create your send classifications and send the profiles, delivery profiles, then how you can create the emails, how you can create the SMS, WhatsApp, or even ads, and then push those live. And once that is done, how you could see the reports or how you could push those reports into Salesforce or your CRM so that your stakeholders can be presented for the particular report, right? So we are into a marketing cloud instance over here. You can see that if I hover over here, I like to show you a few things before starting up and definitely we will be deep diving where we would be covering each steps in detail. But agenda of the series is to make campaign managers effectively they use marketing cloud and for the new beginners also so that they can understand how marketing cloud works and they can send emails, SMS, WhatsApp and report those to their stakeholders. So that's the basic agenda of the series. Moreover, let's suppose if you like to integrate your or you like to check if your marketing cloud instance has been integrated or not, all you need to do is go to setup and check the Salesforce integration. And over here, you can see that, yes, my marketing cloud has been connected. If not, you can edit it, add your connectors accordingly, right? So that's the main stuff and all let's suppose if I like to disconnect and I can add more account. All I need to do is just add the username and password of your Salesforce CRM sales cloud instance. And once that is done, it's connected. Then we need to set up few marketing cloud apps over there in the Salesforce so that the connection happens, which we will cover up later coming series. But let's for the time being, that's how things started. Moreover, I would be adding this steps which you could cover that how things can happen for the marketing cloud instance and how we need to do every stuff. Now, if I check over here, you can see all the company details as well. From here, there are two things which is very important to see that if my SAP has been configured or not. So you can see over here, my SAP has been configured. In case, what is SAP? SAP is nothing but a sender authentication package which makes sure that you can use a subdomain for sending of your emailers. And then once that is done, you can send those emailers. You can create the cloud pages as per your branding and then make those system live, right? That's how things are done. Now, if I look over here, then you see send classification, right? And delivery profile, sender profile, reply mail management, email option and features, which are basically the ways by which you can send an email. So what is send classification? Send classification is nothing but a combination of a delivery uh, send profile and a delivery profile. For example, let me show you this one. So over here, you can see that I have created a send classification, which by the name of marketing code layer. And in the send profile, you can see that uh, sender profile is selected and a delivery profile is also selected. Now, what is sender profile? Sender profile are nothing, but you can say it's a kind of an email reply or email from which you like to email address from where you like to send an email, right? So that's how things are. So from here, you can see the, what is the email address that I would be sending up and in the emails from. And in case I like to have an email reply to what would that be? So in my case, it would be marketing. That's how things happen. Now let's deep dive into email studio which we would be covering that how you can create the emails, how you can send those emails. But prior to that, excuse me for this, but let's see, because your Salesforce is done, your SAP is done, you have created your sender profiles and now you're ready for everything. But we need to check if our data is there and how we can map those data to our Salesforce marketing cloud, right? Now, all you need to do is go to data sources. Once you go to data sources, you look at the synchronized and these are the entities basically are nothing but the objects. All you need to do is let's suppose if you like to add an object, all you need to do is just click on set up object. All your objects which are available or which are there in Salesforce sales cloud would be available over here. 
is taking a little time to load, but generally it's little quick. Yeah, fair it is. So all your accounts or all your objects are over here. So you can select those and click on synchronize and then it will start syncing. For the time being, I won't be doing it, but just to show you, this are the next step where all your fields would be available over here. Yeah, here it is. All your fields are over here, which you can see and click on synchronize in case you want to. In case you find that, okay, some of my fields are not there. So you can select out from here and you can just, all you need to do is just click and it will be synchronized and click on save. So now we know our data is synced and we have everything. Now let's create the segmented audience, which we were looking for. How you can do that? It's very simple. All you need to do is go to the data extension file or section and then you all your synchronized data extension would be here let's suppose i like to create data extension on my contacts all i need to do is i need to filter those audience for example and over here i like to identify them from email contains Corleo, save and build then Corleo. Say. Now, once that is done, it will try to process the data and give you the records. Till the time it's processing, will take a short break. And in case you have any questions, feel free to add it into the comment section and we'll try to answer each and every questions accordingly. Yeah. So from here itself, you can see all the records are here, which has email ID and which has the audio email ID. Just give me a second. Let me show you the email ID. Yeah, here it is. It's there. And you can see that they have opted in or opted out as well, right? So all those records are available. Then most importantly, you can see that contact key is subscribe to subscriber key. That is very important because we need to map each and every contact in our database and it should be mapped to the subscriber key. And generally we have two options either to go with the email address and or with contact ID. And the most preferable one is the contact ID. So I hope you keep that in mind. Now moving forward, what we have done so far, we know that, okay, our sales is connected our sap is that we know from which email address we would be sending our email now let's create those emails and send those emails how easily we can do that all i need to do is just click on all i need to do is just click on create and what i'm trying to create as email message and from here i have templates do i have any templates from i can choose from the basic one i can choose from the empty i can choose from the themed or i can even choose from the predefined saved ones for example for the time being like let's assume i would like to choose this one so all you need to do is name it demo audio youtube video description from where you in which particular folder you like to keep it for example i like to keep it in demo now click on next and from here, you can play around that you can create your own headers. You can play around and just click and you can replace those images on a click of a button. You don't like that one. You like to update with a new one. All I need to do is just click. Everything would be updated like this one. On a click of a button, everything can be done. You don't like this section. We can create, we can play around and add our own language. Okay, this is for code Leo, YouTube, video, right? And if I don't like this, I can just delete this. I can add or play with buttons. Right. So all those emails can be created. And once that is done, I can definitely add my subject line. Just give me a second. This is for code Leo, YouTube video, right? And yes, I can for sure preview my email that how my email looks like, right? How my email would be looking and then I can definitely send it as a test email to myself, right? For example, I have already created this email. Let's test this one. For example, this is the email I would like to test. All I need to do is I can check it from here and let's test how this email would look like to my email address. So the email has been sent and I can see it from here how it looks like if I like to change anything or not. 
So we are waiting for our email to land. Meanwhile, start. So from here, you can see that email is there and I can see from which particular email address I have pinned the email and if everything is good or not, are my images loading perfectly or not, right? So I can test this. Now, once my email is ready, all I need to do is I can go and I can write from click over here and says send. And then you can see what is the subject line, what is the from name, from which particular send classification I like to send it. I like to send it from marketing or I like to send it from corporate communication. So I can select accordingly, right? From timing, I like to send it from marketing or from name also I can select, but we'll stick to this one for the time being. Then all I need to do is I need to find my data extension, which I have created. This is the one target which publication list newsletter selected click on next when i would like to send it i like to schedule it or send immediately i can see accordingly once this is done right i cannot click over here on the send how i can check it is i can also check it on my mobile how this is configuring and in order to send i just need to click over here because it says that we have checked everything and everything is aligned as per brand guidelines and once this is set i can click on send right since this is a demo instance i won't be doing that but let's assume you have sent the email how would your reports look like then from here itself you will get every report like this one and from here by the name of the email all we need to do is just click over here and we will get everything which will hold that what was by delivery rate send performance inbox activity that how many opens how many clicks how many forwards conversions surveys and subscribe are there unengaged subscribers are there forward to a friend activities there or not what was the open rate what was the delivery rate what was the click activity we can check everything right how things are moving right everything would be there now conversions in case there are any we can also do surveys which we would be covering in our future videos but this was it from my side for this particular video in the coming videos we would be working on how to send the sms what are the prerequisites then we would be covering the whatsapp as well and then we would be creating a connected journey and reporting on the same this would how we would move forward guys in case you have any questions feel free to add those in the comment section and we will definitely try to give you an answer for the same thank you so much keep learning enjoy